Got him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him, I got a lot. Good morning, Dust Sizzle Nation out of Stewart today. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're out here actually catching some bait today. I'm happy. Hold on, Bullshark actually catching some bait. We're oh, catching the thread pins and look cigar minnows. <gasps> it's the payload. Woo, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I haven't got a stringer in quite a while. You guys know me, I'm the masturbator on this boat, so I love to catch bait. And we are, oh, those are sardines. Yeah, they are. I just sardines. What do you think they are? <gasps> I thought there were cigar minnows. No, these are. I, we have an assortment of bait today. I am thrilled. It's always good when you got enough bait. But now we got thread fins, cigar minnows, and sardines. Yeah, we bought, I bought a, a couple, two dozen thread fins from the Stewart Bait Guy this morning. Always check those guys out, help out your local businesses. And uh, but then we came to Bull Shark, and, and there's bait out here, guys. It's Friday afternoon. Whoop, whoop. And uh, there's thread fins everywhere, which aren't the greatest baits. We didn't catch, we did catch some. And a stringer of cigar minnows, right? So the minnows is just really. Excellent. On. Oh, no. Catch him up, Dark Sizzle. He's catching them right behind us now. So as soon as we catch up all these bait, Darcy had a little bit of a toothache, so unfortunately you have to listen to my fat nope. butt a little bit. No, my tooth broke. broke. I need to get it out of my mouth. I wasn't trying to be too specific, so anyway, <laughs> her tooth broke and it's cutting her tongue. Her tongue hurts. Yeah. That's the story. I got Silent Frank here. He's been talking to a girl, so I'm going to try and get some of that information out of him. <laughs> and then we're going to go offshore. And I know we've been trolling and catching all the wahoo and the tuna and the wahi in the world lately. So we're going to try and catch cobia and tuna oh, and whatever else here. happens. They're right here on the bottom. But uh, there's going to be some good stuff. Cigar minnows on the bottom. Coming around. What, what number of sabikis are we using, Sizzle? Six. six. We use a lot of number sixes and a lot of number eights out here. And you're going to want to use a fluorocarbon. Don't, don't waste money getting crappy sabikis to get out of the best sabikis. All right, guys, pull these baits up. I got, I got too much bait in my well. When your bait well is too full, your baits start dying, and these people won't stop catching bait. As the sun comes up, we caught threadies, thread fins, then we caught cigar minnows, then we caught sardines, then we caught pilchards. That's four different types of bait. That never happens. Josh, this is hooked up. I'm deep, though. I got you go. Thank you. Real sizzle. Again, right, I'm, I'm, I'm fish is running. <laughs> All right. All right, we came out the push button hill, which is I'm slack on your line. Get this other spinner up. Under, Oops. over me, over me. Okay, okay. Woo! This is a big fish. All right. And I'm down deep. So we came with the push button hill for just to try, like I mentioned before, try for tuna. I don't know what else she has here, but well, maybe it's an AJ. Oh, big man. You're doing good, so it's doing good. This is straight down, acting like probably an amberjack, but also tuna stay straight down too. And we're in tuna territory, so honestly, this could be anything if it stays hooked. It's running again. I'm getting in line now on this guy. Good. It's a stud, whatever it is. Well, it's probably an AJ, but it's, it could be a tuna. We just don't know. Oh, I don't see color. Probably an there AJ. is color. Oh, my weight's up here. Big AJ? Yeah. Is that an AJ or a red? Yeah. Fish? Got it, got it, babe. Got it, babe. Is that going to be a keeper? I don't know. It's going to be close. That's, right. a, that's an Omico. Is it? Looks right. close. Like, yeah, that's an Omico. I'm pretty confident. Got him? No. Get him, Brian. Lip, lip gaff him. Trying. Trying to be careful here. Lip gap this fish in case it's not a keeper. Circle hook's perfectly in the corner. Fish is not going anywhere. <laughs> Brian cannot gaff him. Well, I don't want to hurt him. I know. All right. You're good, you're good, you're good. Don't break him off. I'll get the damn neck. Here, stop. Woo! Big AJ. Dang. Beast boy. Oh. Beast boy, what's my butt? Yeah, your monster. That's See not how long he is, body-wise? He's wise. a monster, Amoco. He's a huge Amoco. Circle hook right in the corner of this fish's mouth. Dropped it very, very deep. Fish wasn't going anywhere. And uh, just match the size of your circle hook to the size of your bait, of course. So this is about a 7-0, I believe. And this is going to be a beautiful Almaco Jack. Or uh, Almaco Jack, part of the Amberjack family. It is not a greater amberjack, and I can tell because the back is much broader and an amberjack is much more streamlined. 
So that is a beautiful fish, beautiful almaco, absolutely delicious to eat. Just look at that bad boy, beautiful. Been a long time since I've caught an almaco. So let's make sure he's a keeper and then I'm gonna put him in the fish box. Nice. All right, no other bites on the drift after Darcy caught that monstrous almaco. Basically drifting two baits on the surface and two baits down just with a, a weight on them wrapped with a rubber band. And now we're gonna do our some chicken rigs and maybe catch some millions out here. While out here, they got some big ones out here. Push button hill. You wanna catch them right on the ledge. Mark them on your machine and hopefully catch them. We'll see what happens. They're biting. Let's go sizzle. A lot of fish right here. I'll zoom. You keep feeling anything, Frank? Right here is a pod of them. Are you looking up, Frank? I got at least one. Let's go, guys. I feel like I should drop it again and get another one. I don't know. There's a big school from right here, that's for sure. Hooked up. Nice. Nice, Frank. Woo! Beautiful. Good job. That's nice firm. Look at that, that, Frank. It's a small one, actually. It's not, it's not a huge one. It's a nice one, but it's, it's small for out here. We got yeah. monsters. Coming up. We could be using my new $3,000 combo, deep drop combo, but we're not. So there you go. We hand crank all the time. One in the bag. Did we get two? I got two. Oh, nice. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, look up. Nice. Nice. That's a stud on top. Nice. Woo! Both hooks. <laughs> dropped the, uh, I felt one bite and I dropped, the, I dropped the weight back down to the bottom to see if I could get the other one to jump on because that's what happens, especially when you bait fishing. As soon as you get one fish on one hook, they kind of all start jumping on. So now we got two. Nice. All right. Ready to go back down? Or? Let's do a couple oh, more drops. Frank, Frank all of a sudden, Frank is all, all of a sudden, he wants to Frank go back is down very right chatty. Now. He's like, it's time to go back down. It's time to go back down. Reset. Now, I, just, I always tell you guys, the reason some people catch more fish than you do, because they're just doing something a little extra, a little smarter. Now, this, I know, Frank's not an experienced fisherman, neither am I like Darcy, but so she felt one on, she wanted two, dropped it down, caught another. So it's those, it's those tiny things that double her catch. Frank got something big on that drop. We're not sure what's going on. I lost my fish. All right, again, we're gonna move up so Frank's fish is behind us. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what it was. And his weight is gone. That is a another almaco. Nice. Yeah. Small guy. That's a perfect eating fish right perfect there. Perfect eater right there, Frank. Good that's, nice job. That's a beauty. Nice job. You can tell they're almacos again because like this dorsal fin's real long here. And then they, these peck fins are like always seem to be white and he's always broader up here. So that is a nice one. Let's get reset, get him another weight, let's drop back down. Nice job guys. And when Darcy talks about the Amico, that's compared to a, a greater Amberjack or an AJ. Differences there. They look very similar. Very similar. I, I can't tell them apart. We got a Vermilion. Nice. Average size ones today. We're catching dinner. Woo! Nice. Another Vermilion for me in the boat. I think it's only one. All right, this is hooked up again. Ryan's having lunch. Ryan's on lunch for I'm having a sandwich as usual. Frank, tell us about your girlfriend. I'm not sure he's ready for public disclosure yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's still in the early, early stages of dating. Frank, I got so much fish on the thing right now. If you're not catching a fish. So he's a, little, Yo, he's a little hesitant to call him her girl, girlfriend. They haven't had that talk yet, but he's dating. I think I some, got something else on now. Some girl in this building. Her name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Something else hit it. Something else hit it. Probably a tuna. Something else hit it on the way up. You got a little almaco. Frank, you hooked up? What? Maybe another little almaco. That's what Darcy calls me. Everyone's cranking. Frank's got a real fish. Frank, you're on the bottom, you got a fish. He's got a fish. It's coming up. 
You guys are probably, probably both connected. Grouper. 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 grouper don't feel like anything. They feel like dead weight. He doesn't got no grouper. His line's coming up. He ain't got no grouper. He doesn't have a grouper because it's out of season. Frank, you get that thing up here. How do you get on the bottom so fast? Frank, wait a minute, you got a grouper next to me on the bottom. Cook. Nice job, Sizzle. Oh, big boys. Those are nice ones. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at those red babies. Oh, baby. That is how you, you do it. You found the monsters. That's how you do it, baby. <laughs> yes. Those are noise. Yes. Noise. That's fish. a giant. <laughs> those Boom. are monsters. Boom. Monsters. Those are all day, 19, 20 inch per million. Let me see. Out of the way. Those are nice. Those are nice. Hold those up so people can see. Woo. See how big they I are. I literally felt like another fish jumped on as I was really. They probably up. did. That high up though? That was oh, I don't far know. Well, well the... it must have jumped on him. That was far, far, far from the bottom when I felt like another fish got on. It was weird. Yeah, buddy. Probably, Frank's probably Frank's shirt Vermilion. is available on the website. What, Brian? The Frank shirt is available on the website. Yes. Check it out. There's also other shirts on the website as well that you guys can check out. Yeah, all kinds of shirts. Look at those guys. Whoa! Nice ones. Very that's nice. Sick. You know, that's the average vermilion right here. They have to be a minimum of 12 inches to keep, so this one's probably this 14. This one's like normal. Yeah, that's an average. That's an over average fish right there. Oh, <gasps> he's got a eel. No wonder it didn't feel like anything. I don't want to touch that sucker. Yeah. <laughs> that's the first eel we pulled on the boat in a long time on a hook. All right. Nice. Let's get some more. Beasts. All right, so what do these guys drop? Well, these guys are dropping. Let me tell you real quick what the gear is. Frank is using an Akuma, an Akuma reel, bottom reel, which they uh, they gave to us because we've been checking out their reels because we might be using them quite a bit in the future. And he's having good luck bottom. with it, nice and smooth. Market fish, guys. And you got we got we're using like 50 pound braid. You use braid for bottom fishing. And then we got a, a chicken rig, maybe 40 pound. I made a chicken rig myself. It's just a cheap barrel swivel, two dropper loops. You can Google those or just use a double overhand knot, two loops or three, whatever you want. And then you tie a weight on in the bottom, depending, of course, on your current and your depth. Darcy's using like a 20 ounce weight. And, uh, and that's it, you can tie that yourself. And we're using a, uh, like a Gamagatsu little live bait hook, a J hook. And, uh, and that's it, real simple, real simple. I don't know, it feels like dead weight. You put it right here. I'm not sure what's going on with Sizzle's pole. Yeah, we're going through weather weights like crazy today. Yeah. I'm off the bottom. I should be off the bottom now. So I've got something on, but it feels like dead weight. What do we got? What do we got? Did not feel right at all. Ah, what is it? Is it yellow tail? Oh my God, it's a yellow eye snapper. Grab him, Brian. Grab him. Beautiful. It's my first one ever. I don't know the official name of that, but I think it's a yellow eye. I'm going to look it up right now. All right, check it out. So I just looked it up on the Fish Angler app, which is, again, a great free app for all anglers like to look up, even just to see what different types of fish species they are. So I just found out this is a silk snapper. I've never said that in my life. I've never caught this fish in my life. And this is going to be a keeper. It looks like you have a bag limit of 10. It didn't say any minimum size, but he's not too small and he's not too big, but that's gonna make a tasty meal. But look how cool he is, just like super pretty. Look at that yellow eye, just, I thought it was yellow eye snapper, but I think you catch those deep dropping, but just really pretty colors. Look at the bars on his back and even on his tail, just look how pretty he is. I like the lighter colors. Even this top dorsal fin has a little bit of yellow edge, like right on the top. Very cool. And a new species for me in the boat. How awesome is that? All right, so I'm gonna post this on the Fish Angler app to see so you guys can see exactly where we're catching these fish today um, and check it out and follow me. Just use the search, func search function and type their sizzle to follow me. Get it, somebody get it. Where is Brian, fight it. Brian, fight it. Brian, fight it. No, there's a fish there. Is he on? No, he's not on. Yeah, he's, on. Yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on. on? Yeah, he's on. Woo! All right, guys, got a flat line. Nice, Brian's hooked up. Could First be a toothy, fish for Brian. It's a mono leader. Could be a toothy critter though. Okay. Should I get a gaff ready? Yeah, I was hoping or a net. It's not that big. Okay. It could be a king. 
Get him. Oh. oh. Told you guys. <laughs> Kingfish. Getting bit. Sure, you got the vermilion. Getting every, bit. Every, I know. You got a camera on. Did you just drop it? There he is. Oh my god, it's a big fish. If he's gonna stay on, I don't even Get know. Get that Kobe up. I don't even know if he's gonna stay on. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Get out of our way, friend. Don't back up. Hold on. Let me get tight. I know. I know. I'm just. Don't back up. Let me get tight. This is a no joke fish. There's color. I right, gotta hold that line. With it. I don't know. Come on, buddy. Work with me. Going on the boat. Stop the gear. Stop the boat. Yeah. I can't stop. Can't stop him. We're running back out. I'm going back. Go back it up. Real. Taking a big long run again. Okay. There he is, color. Silver. Back up. Okay. Silly big, get something to stick this fish, or whatever it is. I'm here, I'm here. Just go right with that rod. It's a king. It? Okay, let him go. Go, 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 go. Nice king on. How do you want to stick them? Can we stick them? Yeah, you stick them. I'm going to have to drop the rod, though, so I can't get the frank. All right, when it gets that close, well, yeah, okay. the frank. Where does it? I might want to use the other gaff. I don't know, but. Just hold it off to the side Tip there. to me. The, don't f drag. Leave it where it is. Yeah, drag's nice and light. If he runs, he's going to run. The, the, the gate fell off that spool. Just let him run. Yeah, let him run. OK, real. Right, here we go. Real. Crank down and real. Yep. There you go. There you go. I don't know how he hasn't broken off yet, but. Turn Kingfish it. with a 25 foot leader on mono. It's not the best rod for doing it. Stick that thing in the water if he goes under the boat, Frank. Reel it up again. Sometimes they eat your bottom rods, though. It happens. And a lot of times they just cut you off. So it's shocking that he's still here. He could easily break off at any second. It'd be a miracle if we get this fish. It's coming up good, Sizzle. Oh, it's he's, big. He's gonna take a run, Frank. Watch out. He didn't, they don't like boats too much in the first time. Just be ready if he's gonna run again. Let him go. Here he comes, Sizzle. Come on, get him towards me. No, oh. no, 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 no. Nice. Oh! <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look at this fish. Oh my god. Woo! Boom! Smoker in the boat. That's a big king, bro. Holy smokes, dude. That's, That's like all day 40. You think? All day. Look how wide that fish is. Man. I mean, that was okay. Do not get on me about the, the meat gaff shot, okay, guys? <laughs> when there's a big fish at the side of the boat that's on that's on mono or a fluorocarbon leader, you do anything you can to get that gaff in that fish and get him in the boat. He's in the boat. Look at this fish. <laughs> that's a it's a giant <laughs> giant smoker. He ain't done yet. That's a wide fish. Look how fat he is. He's gonna be close to 40. Yeah, he's going to be close to 40. Heck yeah. That was sick. Un like I said, he could break off at any second. True miracle to get the smoker in the boat on my snapper line with a 30-foot leader. Just wild with the circle hook. Circle hook popped right out. Crazy. That's the biggest fish I've gapped in a long time. That was crazy, Sizzle. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, we used to do kinkfish sick. tournaments like, every weekend in the Woo! summer years ago. And this is a lunker. He's probably 40. He's, he's upper 30s all day. I don't know, he's close to I've 40. got a skill. Right now we can weigh him when he's dead. Look at that smoker. <laughs> he's bigger than the Wahoo we caught in the last video that you guys saw. Double the size. That's a lunker. On the bottom <laughs> bottom rig, 30, 40 pound mono, 30 foot there meter, I had to hand him. Absolute nice. tank of a fish. Look at those teeth. Tank. <laughs> 
Smoker. Pull over straight, like by the tail. No, because he's going to get on that. I'm not hardcore. <laughs> there he is. There you go. All right, all I'm right. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna apologize. I'm sure the footage is messed up because the camera was like shaking all over the place, and we, had, we needed three people to land that, and yeah. my GoPro died, and no, everything the, else. No, honestly, we would have not landed that if Frank was not here today. Yeah, we. Like, because I handed that rod off to him, and so that fish took multiple runs, and I had the gaff in my hand, and Brian was leadering. So we literally needed all three people to land the biggest freaking fish of the day. Smoked kingfish for everyone. Yes. Right here. 34. 34. No, really? Lift again. <laughs> Look, Brian, right here. See if you, can, if you can't twist it. It's 34. Let me see. 34. Yeah. Killed it. The heck? Crushed it. Now right, let's put the bag up here. Fortunately, the mutton snappers and plegics didn't want to play today, but that's okay. Because again, we caught some beast fish. And again, this is literally pretty much the biggest king I don't think we've ever put on our boat. So, not complaining. Great day. See if he fits in the fish bag. And he does, just barely. <laughs> just barely from tip to tip. That's it, guys. We had an epic day on the water. Lots of big fish. And lately, it always seems like it's going to be an afternoon bite out there. But epic day, no complaints. We had a blast and we fed the whole neighborhood once again. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to win a free full day offshore fishing charter with me, click the link down in the description box below. Brian mentioned my tooth earlier and I have an upcoming scheduled surgery to remove both the last wisdom teeth in my mouth and I'm going to be sedated and everything for it. <laughs> so I feel like it's a major surgery. I've never been sedated. But anyway, anyhow, that's scheduled. Wish me luck down in the comments below. And yeah, that's about it. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Nice. Need a haircut. No, I don't. <laughs> Gotta go to hair club. Hair club. <laughs>